Hello and welcome to another video. I'm going to start a new series on this channel where instead of just showing the process time-lapse videos of one of my full paintings, I'm going to do a regular sketchbook video. So this is going to be for myself so I can make sure that I maintain a consistent sketching habit and also so that I can maintain a more consistent YouTube posting habit. So. Um, I want to do a bit more of a casual chatty episode where I draw in my sketchbook and answer some of your guys questions or just talk about anything art related. For this first video I thought I would dive in and paint what's most natural to me which is faces. Now I'll be the first to admit that some of these are a bit rough. These are all Pretty quick sketches, like 10 to 15 minute sketches of just random faces I saw on Pinterest. I am just sketching with these mechanical coloured pencils. I really, really like sketching with mechanical coloured pencils because I just feel like it makes your sketchbook look more interesting looking at colour. And also I like the way that it doesn't smudge as much as graphite. I had a lovely comment from one of my subscribers drawings in a drawer who asked me a bunch of questions so it's fantastic it gives me heaps to work with for my first sketching video so I'm just gonna go through some of her questions and answer them the first question is is art your full-time job no it's not my full-time job at the moment by day I am a hydrographic surveyor which is basically seabed mapping so uh, I'm offshore a lot of the time of the year last year I was offshore for five months so when I'm offshore I do 12 hour days so unfortunately it doesn't leave a lot of time for art which does limit my art making abilities but yeah maybe one day I would love to be a professional artist which leads into her next question which is if not are you working to make that possible yes um, I have been sort of painting in the background for the past I don't know eight years and just trying to up my skill level until I felt more confident enough to actually start approaching places and trying to get my work out there so this year I am making it the goal my goal to start approaching some wineries around where I live, some cafes, there's um, art festivals and market stalls, there's, there's heaps going on around where I live in Adelaide in Australia so I'm gonna start putting myself out there as scary as that is <laughs> and then you know maybe one day I'll be able to transition into being professional. Next question is do you paint every day? I try and do something artistic every day whether it's doing one of my paintings or sketching or pro, the Proco anatomy course or doing figure drawing using Crokey Cafe and also video editing any of these videos that I make. <laughs> As I said because I have a full-time job and I am offshore for a lot of the year I don't get to make it every day but every day that I am home I will do at least one of those things even if it's only 20 minutes. Next question is where do you get your inspiration? For visual references I look at Instagram and Pinterest. I love looking at my favourite artists and seeing what they're up to. Uh, I save every, anything that I see on Instagram or Pinterest I save to folders which I you refer back to later on. So then I look at all these visual references, combine and Frankenstein these together to create something that's my art. <laughs> There's this amazing video which I'll link which is called How to Be Creative, Still Like Tarantino, which really, really resonated with me and really drives home the quote from Austin Kleon that says, a bad artist steals from one source a great artist steals from many sources so that's basically what I do <laughs> I just inhale as much beautiful artwork and stuff that inspires me as I can and then combine them together and then that's how I make my designs who are your favorite artists this changes a lot actually um, and pretty much reflects probably where my style is at and how it's evolved so right now I'm really into surreal science fiction artwork and a lot of digital artwork actually so some of the artists that I'm really into at the moment are 
and I'm probably going to say some of these names <laughs> incorrectly, but Victor Mosquera and Stuart Lippincott, who does mostly digital art. Um, Ian Francis, who I love his more abstract sort of figurative style. Pascal Blanchet, who um, does amazing science fiction themed artwork. So all of their Instagrams I will link below. Are you on Skillshare? No, but I would love to one day create a watercolor class on Skillshare. Although I feel like there's so many amazing YouTube tutorials and classes on Skillshare already in that, that topic. Um, but yeah, maybe one day I would, I would love to create a class on there. Um, I've never actually given Skillshare a proper go because I feel like there's so many great classes on there and every type of topic. So I've really got to get into onto that, but I haven't done that yet. And the last question she has is, what is your favorite thing to paint? Uh, that's probably self-explanatory from what I show on this channel, but I love painting portraits and figures. When I first started out painting, I was kind of exclusively painting portraits and working very strictly off reference photos. So if something was looked odd in a reference photo, didn't matter, I would paint it exactly as I saw in a reference photo. So I'm really trying to move away from just being a photocopier and trying to create more meaningful work that has a message behind it and portrays some kind of emotion or idea. So that was all of the questions that she had and if any of you guys have any questions for future videos feel free to leave those down in the comments uh, or if you have any ideas for videos for me I'm all ears. Well that's all I have for now thank you so much for watching I will see you on the next video.